so I'm going in with a coffin shape set of nails and I'm doing an ombre on the little finger here so the colour that I've just placed down was from CJP and the colour is satin slipper which is a nice um, like truffle light brownie colour and then I'm ombre in it with um, peach sorbet um, so on the middle finger i think i just go in with it all with the satin slipper um yeah i think i do and then obviously i put some diamonds on and stuff so this is a strength powder but i always like to go in with um crystal glass afterwards just so you don't use as much color um so yeah you can obviously just do it that way but it is a strength powder so if you didn't want a cap it in clear acrylic you don't have to um so i'm using my alpha number eight oval brush but this was a set of nails that i recorded a while ago as you know um some of you know my internet has been very poor in my new house but i have just gotten faster internet so i can um upload a lot more regular and i have been trying some new brushes so in my newer videos um you will see is trying some new brushes so i'm doing a bit of a marble effect with the three colors that um that's in this set so it is the satin slipper the peach sorbet and um perfect black all from cjp um, and I'm just placing three of the colours down quite wet so I can just marble with the brushes. There's lots of different ways that you can marble. It just The trick is not to play with it too much. You kind of use a pattern motion than a swiping motion. Um, and I like marbling because you never know how the effect's going to turn out. Um, and obviously you will go in and uncap this as well um so on the index finger i'm just going in with the same um ombre effect so going about a third up the nail and keeping the top area nice and thin so obviously when you come to ombre you're not going to get that harsh line um, and obviously you can see I'm draining the liquid out of the back of the bead so I get the full intensity of the colour um, and then kind of when I'm ombre it down I'm just using the very tip of my brush just to feather that down over um, some colours are much easier to ombre together than some um, and then obviously on the thumb here, I'm going in with the three colours again and just doing a marbling. It kind of looks like an eye, you know, when I've like done it. Um, the tips that I'm using on this set of nails is the CJP um, clear tips, which um, I did love them. Um, you all know that I absolutely adore CJP, um, but I've kind of went off these tips. Um, I definitely find, because they are so thin, if you're using especially an acid primer, um, it can crack the tips. Um, so I do use different tips from now, but I'm not going to say they're awful because they're not. They're just personally like not for me so anyways i did go in and put a thin coat of cjp crystal glass on all of the nails and then obviously i went in and done some filing so now i'm using some um swarovski crystals from um glitter arty nails and you buy a pack and they come with various sizes which is like really handy and i'm just using cjp's gripper glue which is amazing for sticking nails on and obviously your gems as well um and i definitely need to invest in a better gem picker upper um so yeah and then i'm just going in with some small opals um which i just purchased off ebay they were very inexpensive um but they are lovely quality so um just doing a bit of a I wouldn't even know what kind of design to sort of say, um, but just a bit of a design. So then 
After I've done that, I'm just going in with my Blue Sky non-tacky um, gel top coat and just covering all of them nails, taking care not to get any on the skin and capping the free edge. Um, so it is a really simple set of nails, very elegant looking. Um, my client absolutely loved these. Um, so yeah, I pop them into my LED lamp and cure for 30 seconds. Um, and once they come out of the lamp, I just let them cool for about 10 seconds. And then I pop some cuticle oil on and that's it, guys. So I hope that you did enjoy this set of nails. I've left a couple of pictures at the end. Um, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I would love that. And hit the like button if you did like this set of nails. And I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.